So I finally received my brand new Steam Deck and once again I will be wiping SteamOS and downloading Windows 11. I've had people ask me how to do this in the past and I'm aware there are multiple other videos and ways to do this so that people can reference my specific video when they're watching my other videos i'm making this now finally what you're looking at right now is my windows 10 desktop pc you can tell because i never activated windows and probably never will but i'm going to be using my desktop pc i'm going to be using an sd card and a usb c hub now you could use a usb and just plug it into the top of your computer but i can't seem to find one right now but an sd card will work just the same because i'm able to format it and download whatever I need to download onto it, so that's not gonna be an issue. What I'm about to do now is turn my micro SD card into a bootable drive. Now, if you're using a USB stick or whatever you're using, you're gonna turn that into a bootable drive. In my case, I'm using the micro SD card, so that's what we're gonna be converting into a bootable drive. You would download the Create Windows 11 installation media, boom. Mine is already downloaded, so I'm just gonna head over to Downloads and hit that media creation tool, hit yes to everything, that pops up on the screen except whatever I need to accept and then we should be getting a setup screen here next you're gonna to want to read the Microsoft software license terms just kidding except getting a few things ready user recommended options for this PC now it doesn't really matter what you do here because we're not downloading Windows onto this PC but I'm just gonna leave it like that USB flash drive I am using a micro SD card but it's gonna be the same thing it needs to be at least eight gigabytes mine is a terabyte so we're fine there. Let's go there. Getting a few things ready. This is my micro SD card. Make sure you guys select the USB that you're using or your flash drive, whatever you're using. Make sure you pick the right one. That is where we want to set up our creation tool. So we're going to let that download. Looks like our download is done. We're just going to hit finish. And now we don't really need our PC anymore. We can switch over to the Steam Deck. Switching over to the Steam Deck, the first thing we're going to do is say goodbye to Steam OS because this is the last time we're going to see it. And let's power this thing off. Power shut down. Confirm. Let's wait for that thing to turn off. If I were using a USB, I would just leave it plugged in here and then plug this into the Steam Deck. But since I'm using a micro SD as my bootable drive, I can just plug this SD card into the Steam Deck itself. The next thing we need to do is boot into BIOS, so we're going to hold the volume up and the power button. Hold those at the same time, it should power right on. And that brings us to this screen right here. Now we need to go ahead and find that micro SD card on here where we can boot Windows from. So I'm going to go to boot from file there, and then I'm going to select my micro SD card. You're going to find your storage device here, whatever you're using, and hit that and then I'm gonna go to the bottom very last setting it's called like boot manager or something it's kind of hard to see but right there you can hit that and that will load us into the window setup the screen orientation will switch from landscape to portrait so we're gonna have to use it like this for now on this initial screen we can go ahead and hit next language and country now we're gonna go ahead and hit that install now button it's going to give us this setup is starting. It's going to ask us to activate a product key. If we don't have a product key, we're just going to hit I don't have a product key and hit next. Right here, it's going to ask us what version of Windows we want to use. You can choose Windows Home or whatever you want to use. I was using Windows 11 Pro on my initial setup, and that's what I'm going to use here again. Windows 11 Pro and hit next. Then we're going to accept these terms. Hit next. And then we're going to do custom install. And then right here, we're just going to go ahead and delete all of the ones that say primary. So let's just hit delete on all these primary ones. And it won't let us move on if we don't do this. This is a step that I got stuck on the first time I did this. But this is pretty much the solution. You just got to delete everything until there's one left. So once we got down to that final storage device that was left, you just hit next and it should start installing Windows onto the internal SSD of the system. At this point, it's gonna pretty much install what it needs to install on its own and then you're gonna have to do a little bit of setting up and eventually after enough setup screens and splash screens and things like that, you will be led to your desktop finally. Your desktop will be shown in portrait mode. Luckily, it gives us the option to go to settings off of you know the very beginning screen. So we can go to display and scroll down here to 
orientation. It's going to say portrait. You're going to go ahead and switch from portrait. There we go. It'll switch and it's going to ask us if we want to keep these settings. We're just going to hit yes. And now we are officially on Windows 11. Pretty straightforward and easy process as far as downloading Windows 11 onto the actual Steam Deck. Remember, this is me not downloading it to an SD card. This is going onto the internal SSD of the system. I have the 64 gigabyte model. So yes, you can download Windows 11 internally on the 64 gigabyte model. This is also not me dual booting. I just want to clarify that as well. I am not dual booting. I am replacing SteamOS entirely with Windows 11. There are still some things I need to do to get Windows up and running properly as far as like downloading drivers and things like that. But I'm going to leave this video right here just so that it doesn't get too convoluted and confusing. That's pretty much all you have to do to get Windows 11 initially onto your system. The drivers and stuff, I may or may not do an extra video to show those. You can go to the Steam Resource Windows page, whatever, and download those for yourself. But I might also show myself doing that just so that people can see, you know, how I've added on to this. As well as I'll probably be making videos in the future showing how else I have optimized or added on to Windows to make it a more viable experience on the Steam Deck. For now, that's all for this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.